Now, although Prime Minister Netanyahu raised eyebrows when he vowed to annex Jewish settlements in the West Bank, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo doesn't think doing so will be an impediment to peace. Speaking to CNN on Friday, Pompeo spoke about the highly anticipated Trump peace plan, explaining that the vision that will be laid out will represent a significant change from the model that's been used anyway. He said that he hopes that the peace plan will help get the Israelis and the Palestinians to a, quote, better place, and reinventing the wheel, so to speak, is needed, he said, because the ideas for the past 40 years have not worked. It's unclear how exactly this peace plan will be different, however, and Pompeo acknowledged that ultimately it's up to the Israelis and the Palestinians to solve the matter between themselves. But given that Pompeo refuses to voice support for the two-state solution, some experts predict that the peace plan will be in favor of some sort of one-state paradigm. And remember that before the election, Netanyahu sent shockwaves through the Middle East when he announced that he's in favor of annexing Jewish settlements in the West Bank, which would make Israeli control over 400,000 Jews official. Well, should that actually happen, in addition to Trump recognizing Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights and declaring Jerusalem as its capital, it doesn't leave much bargaining chips for the Palestinians.